Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install the Media Center on your PS Vita and then watch MP4 video files um, with full working sound and in decent quality. So what you guys want to do first is just go ahead and open up Vita Shell and then when Vita Shell loads, just press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so on your PC you just want to go to the first link in the description and it will be the Vita Media Center um, page. So there's a few screenshots of what it looks like as you can see. Here's um, someone watching Avengers and it's actually a really nice interface. I really like the look of it. But to get it, all you want to do is scroll down and you're looking for the download right here. So just click that link. It's then going to bring you to the Vita database. Um, you can scroll down and just click download VPK. Just go back uh, to the original website because you actually need to set up a file folder as well. So just back on the original website quickly. Um, you have to look at this because you have to create these folders. So you need to create a folder called Media Center and inside of that you have to create a folder called Videos. And then that is where you store all your videos. So I'm just going to do that right now in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to copy the Media Center VPK to the root of my PS Vita to start with. Then I'm going to do right click, new folder, call it Media Center just like that. Then inside of this folder you want to create another new folder and just call it videos. Just like that. And then what you do is just get your video file and um, this supports mp4 files so I've got one here and all you want to do is just copy it inside of the media center folder and then inside of the videos folder. Now go back to your downloads folder and just copy this into your PS Vita's data folder. Now this must be on your UXO as well. So that is pretty much it for the PC. Once you've got these two files copied across, you're now done. So I'll show you what to do next on the PS Vita. Right guys, so once you're back on your PS Vita, we now just need to install the VPK file. So go onto your UXO, scroll all the way down, and just look for the mediacenter.vpk. So just press X on it, press X again to install it. And then just wait for it to install. Shouldn't take too long because it's a very small program. So once it has finished installing, we can now completely close out the Vita Shell because we don't need it anymore. And then just go and find the bubble on your home screen. So here is my one, Media Center. Kind of looks like a Google app for some reason, but there you go. So you just want to tap on it and then just tap Start. So what it's doing now is just reading your video file and it's going to display all the videos which you have on here. So as you can see, here is mine, my, is my MP4 video, and it shows how, how big it is in size, so mine's 19 megabytes. So guys, to watch your video, all you want to do is just press um, the down pad on it, then you can select through them, and then just press X, and it will actually launch up your video. So the quality is very good, um, I can definitely, you know, watch a film on this, and, um, you know, actually think the quality is good. It has full working sound as well, and the sound is pretty good. There isn't any lag or anything like that. It's pretty much just a decent quality MP4 player for your PS Vita. So you can actually store, um, you know, large films on this as well, you know, like two hour films and stuff. Keep in mind that the size of the file will probably be really big. Uh, let me just show you the sound quickly. So just so you guys can hear it works. Um, obviously, I don't want to play it for too long just in case I get like a copyright strike from the song. So if you tap um, the video itself, you've actually got options. You can pause it, uh, you can you know skip to the next video. Uh, there's a button here. This one right here, I'm pretty sure is shuffle, but I've only got one video, so that won't work. And if you tap this one right here, it will just close out of it again. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. It's actually a pretty cool, um, you know, small media player. I really like it. It's good for watching films and stuff like that. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.